if you're not pouring it forth in a big way, using whatever platforms, channels, etc., that you are led to use, not using whatever's trending or what you quote unquote should be using because there's endless things to choose from. What are you led to use? Which social media platforms, which ways of marketing, etc. If you're just pouring it out at your kids, your dog, your friends, well, firstly, they're probably having to put up with a lot more of your speak than what they really should have to. But secondly, there's a bottling up that's occurring. I want to speak to you today just for a few moments about the bottling up that occurs as an entrepreneur, as a leader, as a creator, as a way maker, as a revolutionary, as one of the ones who is different, even in a room full of so-called different ones, the bottling up that occurs when you try to do business through a lens of this is how to do business, this is how to do my social media, this is how to shop, this is how to get my message out. Now, what is this question? Let's see if I'm going to answer it. I often feel that my purpose revolves around my motherhood and yet over the years, no matter how much time passes, I always come back to showing up as a leader in my coaching business being a priority. Do I have to choose or wait till my kids are older? I'd love if you can speak to this. That's a great question. I think a lot of people can relate to that question. I don't believe that we have to choose. I have a belief that it is easier. I, I started teaching this to clients years ago. Gosh, must be like at least eight years ago, I remember first expressing this to a private client. It's easier to go, it's easier to go straight to the top. Now, I don't mean the top like compared with somebody else, yeah? Like whatever that means. I mean to go to the fullness of the vision that is inside of you. It's easier to go all the way to the utmost of your dreams in each different era of your life simultaneously than what it is to try and address one era at a time like in this era, I'm only going to be a mum, for example. Well, my belief is that would only be a smart move for the person for whom that was genuinely aligned and there was no pull, no leaning, no calling, no desire, no inner nudge, no you know guidance, spiritually, supernaturally or otherwise, to express and pour forth a thing. And I know people like that. I know people who genuinely, alignedly, everything fell away and their season is parenting. And that's amazing. But if that's not you, that's not bad or wrong. And it doesn't mean that you're being less than or that it would result in you being less a parent. I actually believe if we would try to segment parts of who we are and take out parts of our true identity because we think that we need to not do that until a different season, I think that would result in us being lesser than we're meant to be or limited or stuck or stagnant or restricted or just like de-energised in our relationships, including our parenting relationships, but in any relationships, because it's easier to go to the fullness of who you are. This is true in business. It's true in how you create. It's true in how you pour forth. It's true in the fact of the matter that we do have these multiple parts of our identity. However, however, here's the but, yeah? In order for that to work, in order to go into the fullness of the vision that's inside of you and go, all right, I'm going to be the person who's simultaneously being a mum, taking care of my health and fitness, doing whatever I'm doing in the community, having some kind of a social life perhaps, getting some sleep for sure, like taking care of myself, and I'm going to build an empire. Like, okay, all right, superwoman, here we go again. No, 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 we don't, we don't need to go old school superwoman. We don't need to go balls in the air all over the place. We don't need to go hustling into the wee hours or something like that. We've probably all had seasons of that at different times. It's not required. What is required though, and this brings me back to my original point for this live stream, is the only possible way that this could alignedly truly work, like really seeing business growth, financial growth, but from purpose, from flow, it feels right, it's aligned, it's fun, it's great even, oh my gosh, so many like um, conditions, you know, and then on top of it, we're meant to be like the mum that we're meant to be and all this, you know what, I really didn't like that Barbie movie at all, but I did like that speech in the middle of it. Can't remember her name. What, what's the actress's name? That speech was pretty amazing. Like if anyone didn't see it, just watch the, just search like the Barbie speech online. Didn't like the movie at all. Felt that it perpetuated a lot of nonsense that it shouldn't have been perpetuating. But I liked the speech. So if we're going to do all these different things and hold ourselves to these different ideas and, and your soul knows, you know, like your spirit actually knows, it's not true for me to shove that part of me down into a corner. It's not true. Is it true? Is it true within you that you should shove that part of you down into a corner or tell it to just press pause until 2030 or something? 2030 sounds like a made up year. Are we even going to get to that year? <laughs> you know, 
No, no, no. The only way it could all possibly flow together is if you submit, who likes that word? I love that word, because it results in flow and freedom and it should only be done appropriately and rightly. If you submit to going all in on the way that it's meant to be for you, 